Welcome again, my friends. Our video today is about ship design and construction. Ships are large and complex vehicles which must be self-sustaining in their environment for long periods with a high degree of reliability. Thus, the great performance of a ship is the result of the combination of three main areas of skill such as naval architecture, marine navigation, and marine engineering. The naval architect is concerned with the design of the hull, its form, construction, habitability, buoyancy, and capacity to endure in the rough conditions of the sea. On the other hand, the marine operation engineer or deck officer is in charge of the safe navigation of the ship as well as its cargo operations. Furthermore, the marine engineer or engine room officer is responsible for the systems which propels, operates and maintains the ship. In other words, the machinery required for the propulsion, steering, anchoring, ship securing, cargo handling, air conditioning, the power generation and its distribution as well. There are two key parts of the ship, the hull and the machinery. The hull is the main body of the ship which includes the superstructure. The machinery consists of the main engine which is required to drive the ship as well as the auxiliary machinery used for maneuvering purposes, steering, mooring, cargo handling and other tasks on board. In the design and construction of a ship or vessel, vertical and horizontal divisions are included. The vertical divisions within the hull are called bulkheads. Bulkheads are vertical walls installed as being in the vessel's hull. This term refers to any vertical panel aboard a ship. In the same way, there are some other divisions within the hull which are called decks. Decks can be considered either the floor or the roof of the ship, since they divide her horizontally. Moreover, there is a deck that covers the hull of the vessel from its fore to its aft, and it is called upper deck. This upper deck is the topmost deck on a ship. Other decks are the main deck, that is the primary deck in any vessel. In oil tankers, this primary deck stems over the entire ship from bow to stern, foxhole or forecastle deck. This deck is situated at the bow of the vessel and it is the place where the machinery for mooring and anchoring operations is located. Finally, at the rear part of the ship, we find the put deck, that is basically the stern deck of the vessel. That's all, folks. Thanks for your attention and see you next video.